Hello, so today I'm going to be showing you how to recompile PyInstaller from source and the reason that you might want to do that is because sometimes you have some troubles when you are sharing an exe file with a friend and their antivirus complains that it's, an tro that it's a trojan, so yeah, that's why you would want to do that. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure you have git installed on your machine. You do that by just simply opening up command prompt and just typing git. If you get something like that, you know, the commands and help on everything, that means you have git installed, but if you don't, it will be something like git is not recognized as internal program. So if you don't have git installed, just go over to this page, I'm going to be linking down in the description of course, but just download git and install it, the installer will just guide you through the installation process, You just I recommend just setting the defaults that are there. So when you go click through it, click your way through it, you will have git installed. And then you will need to write this command. I will be pasting all of these commands in the description, so do not worry. First of all, it's git clone. We're going to be cloning PyInstaller from GitHub. Okay, once it's done, you are going to just cd pyinstaller, then cd bootloader, oh, sorry, cd bootloader, and then you want to type this command python dot waf dist clean all. Yes, so, alright, now it's just pretty much compiling it. If you get an error that says could not configure a C compiler, that means you don't have a C, C++ or a C compiler installed in your machine. If, if, it, if, it, if that's the case, don't worry, just go ahead to this site, I'm going to be linking down in the description as well, where you can download Microsoft Visual Studio with C++. You can also just choose a min GW compiler, but I would just prefer doing this instead because it's always worked for me. So after you do that and you have no errors, you, we're just going to cd back and then you want to run python setup.py. Of course, by mistake, you, sh you should type python setup.py install. I forgot about this part. And now it's just installing PyInstaller into your machine. Alright, so now you have PyInstaller installed. You can just make sure it's here. Yes, you have the help over here. So that's it, that's it for the video. I'm going to be listing the links and the comments and description so do not worry about it and if you have any problems make sure to comment down below and i will make sure to help you so thank you for watching and subscribe for more stuff like this